Here's our interview from yesterday from the East Wing of the White House. Hello, Rick. Hello. Nice to see you both. All right, Rick and Bubba, we're in the East Wing of the White House uh, here with the 45th President of the United States of America, Donald Trump. Pretty fancy place, right? I mean, Very nice. Uh, Very not nice. so bad. You've come a long way. We yeah. love the cookies, too. Yeah, we've got true. good cooks here. That's true. Thank you for lunch. The lunch was fantastic. <laughs> good. Well, That's great. What do you honor. normally do? You eat a lot? Do you, what do you ask for lunch? Well, I don't have much time to eat. We're no. trying to pass tax cuts now, and we've got all sorts of things lined up tomorrow ahead for China and Japan, South Korea, Vietnam, and the Philippines. Other than that, it won't be very busy. <laughs> right. Well, how much well let's talk about it. The tax plan, um, it, it, we've been talking to some of the different members of your administration, and, and there seems to be a lot of optimism about it. Of course, the economy is doing great even before this. Uh, the corporate tax cut c could only make things better. Well, we're doing great uh, as an economy. We're having tremendous numbers, tremendous stock market numbers. Every day we're hitting new highs. And the tax cuts, but are really needed to really make this country take off like it should. The tax cuts are going to be very important. And I think they're going to happen. There's tremendous spirit uh, in the Republican Party. And I can tell you the Democrats are worried. You know, they're obstructionists and they're worried about it. But I think we're going to I think we're going to do fantastically well, both in the Senate and in the House. Can you get it through? That's the key. I think so. Yeah, I think so. I think that there is, for instance, we were really there on health care, and then we got a surprise right. vote, mm -hmm. and we're going to come back to health care right after this is over, yeah. and we're going to get that done. But I will say that I think there's uh, – I mean, you guys know as well as I do. You see what's going on. There's right. tremendous spirit to get the tax cuts yes. done. Yes, yes. There's a lot of energy out there. and Tremendous and, energy. And during the campaign, when you said you could produce 3% growth, you were scoffed at yeah. And there it was. We just had it this well, week. We've I think it was revised it. up, That's what, 3.1, right. 3 right? So we've already hit it. We had 3.2, and now we have 3. And the 3 is in a tough season because we had yes. hurricanes. We had really five hurricanes. I mean, bad ones, as you know, probably better than I do. Yes. And uh, that's uh, supposed to be a point. That would mean we would have hit 4. So we had a GDP of 3.2 and 3 in the last two quarters. And most people didn't think we were going to be there for three years. So a lot of it is the fact that I cut the regulations right. and that companies are already starting to really get back to work. Well, but the regulations have been very seriously cut. There's there's a lot of small business that want to reinvest. They want That's to right. move forward, but they've been scared because they Absolutely. know what was coming their way. They're ready to rock and this country is ready to rock. And don't forget, other countries have GDP at 11, 12, 13, uh, 6, 7. We were at 1.2 when I came in. And it's just not acceptable. And now we're up to three. And each point in GDP is $2.5 trillion. That's more money than we're talking about, to a large extent, for tax cuts. I mean, that's actually more money than we're talking One point makes a tremendous difference. And nobody can tell me we're not going to get a point. And we just left the Rose Garden, you saw. We have Jay Powell going in at the Fed. And he's a very, very talented guy. I think he's going to do a great job. Well, I think Americans, which is the reason why I believe that, that you won, I think a lot of us out there have been so frustrated that it seems like the government doesn't have basic concepts how business works and how the economy works. And so many things the government does lacks logic. Right. You know, we're small business right. owners, and we weren't about to add any employees because everything was so uncertain. Then we went through the thing with Obamacare, right. and then we have this forced on us, and we, you know, which you know has just been Obamacare. A by the way, has been a disaster. I mean, it, it's it, and we we've got to the, the wheels. Fast. The wheels have already completely come off on yeah. it. It's not like it's going to be bad. It's really well, bad. And, and the we're phone calls that we about, get, yeah. as you know, we're talking about ending the individual mandate and right. uh, giving that to the middle class and giving it to businesses where they, uh, you know, go out and. Create a lot of jobs but the mandate has been a disaster the individual mandate has been a disaster i mean people that had insurance before obamacare now they have to pay not to have it right it's got to be the most unpopular thing one of the most unpopular things i've seen in government and so we're even considering getting rid of the individual mandate well there's a there's a little bit of a frustration because i think there's people that said we voted for this administration and we want their vision for america to be implemented yeah and they're going to get it honestly yeah. they're going to get it we're going to get the we're going to get repeal and replace and we're getting very close to getting it anyway and obamacare is exploding and imploding just as i said it would and the tax cuts are going to be very important in a way i feel a little bit guilty leaving for china and japan and for south korea now because you know this is prime time but I will say the receptivity, and you people know it as well as I do, the receptivity has been fantastic for the tax cuts. What about, when you talk about the corporate tax rate, I mean, that's obviously something you're very familiar with. Is this enough? 
to re- to really. Oh, I this mean, will be great. Yeah, yeah because be great. being being the highest corporate rate, that made zero sense. Right. Well, we're bringing it from thirty five percent down to twenty. That's a tremendous That's cut. A this job. will be the biggest tax cut in the history of our country. So uh, this will be bigger than anything we've done. And historically, those have caused big booms. I think it's going to be tremendous. And also, the reason I say for business, business needs it because we are one of the highest taxed countries in the world. It's not even close, okay? We're one of the highest tax in the world, and now we're going down to one of the lower. Not the lowest. I'd like to be there, too. Right. But, you know, you can only do so much. And by the way, there is a phase two. Maybe we do a phase two if this kicks off like we think it will. But this will have a huge impact on business and a huge impact on jobs. If you get another shot at it, the Rick and Bubba plan will be zero deductions and 10% across the board. Well, Everybody that sounds pays. interesting. That's you know, a very you know, fine you, plan. I mean, Great I, economists. Yeah. <laughs> be difficult to get through, but it would get it we done. We figured God was for it. You know, we could, we could live with it. Hey, there <laughs> are some people that agree with that. Yeah. I have to tell you. You <laughs> know me, that. Right? Let me ask this while we have you. We, we saw the test walls go up. Yeah. Or, uh, how do you yeah. feel about it? I mean, I you're going to go down and judge them. Right. right? Yeah. I'm going to go down very soon, and we're going to be. Uh, when I get back sometime after I get back from uh, Asia and uh, we have uh, five and even six test walls up we call them prototypes and you know it's uh, interesting we have the we have the border patrol working on it and they're working hard and ice because they're the ones you want yeah. and they want a certain vision through right. the wall right because if you think about it you can't just have a concrete wall that you don't know who's on the other right. side right. so they want to have a vision through the wall and no those are some great prototypes there's one or two in particular that we like and i'll be going there over the next uh, three or four weeks i'm so not trying to tell you what to do but i'd go with the israelis i mean <laughs> okay. if, if anybody well, knows how to build a wall if well, anybody knows we, how we to got build. a couple of them from alabama well that's true we do have some alabama yeah. ones in there so, you know actually so will you just judge actually, it and put a ribbon on it and they yeah, win well it's that? basically i'll be picking the winner but i'll yeah. be picking it with ice and i'll be picking it yeah. with the border patrol right. and you just mentioned israel but their wall works yeah 99.9% they, they actually told me 99.9%. Yeah, that's one reason why we thought it was weird that the Pope acted like he didn't like the wall when he lives He's got inside. a big one. He lives <laughs> inside. <laughs> what is that about? When I heard that, that was actually during the South Carolina primary. You know that, right? You remember that? And it was during the South Carolina, and I heard that they right. uh, that the Pope was sort of against the wall. And then I said, wait a minute, let me see some of the pictures of the Vatican. Well, ask the people who had to bury their loved ones, sadly. Absolutely. Over the last oh, uh, 24, so 48 sad. hours. Because what? It's not immoral, and it's not unreasonable to say that we're not saying that people can't come into our country. We simply want to vet them out to keep our citizens secure. And that's a reasonable statement. And we want a merit-based system. That's right. We don't want lotteries. And you can imagine who they put in those lotteries. They're not putting their finest. No. They're not putting you guys in the lottery, okay? They're putting people that... Let's not even talk about it. But Why they're not is that putting so their hard foreigners. for people to understand. Why do people oppose uh, inconceivable, that? but I think now they're understanding it. And right. I would like to say move fast because in three weeks from now they won't understand it to the same extent. Now I understand a lot of Democrats want to end that lottery system. Well, I I've been talking about the lottery system for a while. I've also been talking about chain migration. We have to end chain migration. Right. Chain migration's a killer. Yeah where somebody like him can come in and they'll bring 20 people, 23 people with him potentially. And in his case, he only has a green card. Mm. No, he's a bad... He's a bad person. He's an animal, as far as I'm concerned, Absolutely. and we're going to be very tough. And, and if people don't understand that and they don't like it, what we keep saying is don't blame our country, who now wants to be secure. Blame the people who keep doing these kind of things, and, the, and, and, and that's what's causing us to start vetting. It's not our fault. It's the behavior of those who are coming in that, that tend to do harm. Well, we have extreme vetting, and now we have more right. than that. I mean, right. you see what we've been doing, and we've done a great job at the border, 78% down. And you look at that when, you know, if, if they went 1% down, it was oh, a big yeah. story. With 78% down, people pouring into yeah. the border. And that's before the wall. Right. So, that's just uh, enforcing the laws that were already in place. It's enforcing yeah. laws. Uh, the people concept. on Border Perception. Patrol yeah. and ICE, you know, they endorsed me. Right. Yeah. And the first time they've ever endorsed a presidential yeah. candidate. Well, you know why they wanted, they wanted to be allowed to do their job. They want to do their job. You know, they, yeah. they actually work much harder now than they used to, and they love it. Yeah. They're doing their job. They love the country. They're proud of their country, and they're doing their job. Well, thanks for taking time to include us Thank today. You. It's an honor to be here. And, uh, and of course, the last time you were on with us and you did a liner for us, it, it made national news even in the radio industry. And we oh. appreciate it. So, so thank That's you. It's true. Come to think <laughs> of it. Yeah, so just thanks for doing That's that. That's very true. Yeah. Thank, thank, you, thank you both thank very, you very much. much. Appreciate this you. Is a Play. Yeah, thank you. Donald Trump taking time to be with us here today on the Rick and Bubba Show. Well, there it was. Uh, 045 uh, talked to us from the east wing of the White House.